All right, here comes the guy ready to make his big move. <laughs> you can tell he's nervous. Hi. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? Emily. I'm Josh. Hi. You can tell just by the look on his face that he's ultra nervous and feeling awkward. <laughs> um, can I kiss you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he leaned in, gave an awkward hug, and kissed her cheek. And walks out of the room with his arms behind his back. And the girl's like, what the fuck? Is that all? <laughs> and the girl's like, what the fuck is going on? Kissing should never be some big move, okay? In one of my favorite movies, Hitch with Will Smith, he instructs the student that you should come in 90% of the way and let her come in the other 10%, and that's bullshit too. The kiss is not some big deal thing that happens at the girl's front doorstep like you see in the movies, okay? It's not gonna be like some big move, like you went out to dinner, you walk her to the door, and you lean forward with your lips puckered and, and hold that pose waiting for her to lean and, ki and kiss you, okay? That's Hollywood, that's not real life. In real life, whether you're out at a bar or club or you're out on a date or you already have the girl back to your place, it should just be something that unfolds naturally. It should feel like this thing between two people who are attracted to each other and it's just a natural thing. And you do that by building up the escalation in the conversation, both with sexualization of the verbals of the conversation, implementing light physicality, light touches and putting your hand on her leg, etc. That all builds up so that the kiss is just the next, next step, okay? Then it's a small little jump. It's not some big deal thing. How Hollywood treats it and how we just saw that video, it's like nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Here comes a big move. And the girl doesn't want it to feel like a big move. She doesn't want it to feel like a big deal. And it shouldn't be like, oh, I'm shooting my shot. And if I miss, like, you know, well, at least I tried. You can make the odds of the kiss happening like 90 something percent if you do it like in the in the right moment. Once you've built up the escalation, once you've built up the sexualization and you guys are vibing well and smiling and stuff like that. So the way that I always go for the kiss is when I'm vibing with the girl after I've amped things up with sexualizing the conversation, making it non-platonic and introducing light physicality then I say, what color are your eyes? I want to see the color of your eyes. And I bring my face closer to her so it shortens the distance between our faces. And I'm like holding that pose there, but I'm not trying to kiss her yet. But you can tell at that point if she gives you signals, if she looks down at your mouth or she's smiling or she starts looking from your mouth to your eyes. And, and you can usually just feel it like, oh, this girl wants to kiss me. But if she like backs away, when you say, let me see the color of your eyes, say, oh, I just want to see the color of your eyes. And that way there's nothing lost there but usually they're gonna be receptive. And then when our faces are close, I say, can I see how you kiss real quick? I really wanna kiss you, let me see how you kiss, blah, blah, blah. And then that leads into a makeout. But it's not some big deal thing. And if she's like, oh no, not yet. And you say, yeah, that's cool. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. And you don't even skip a beat. So it's not some big deal move. It's just a natural evolution in the conversation and the vibing. And then if she's not ready yet, then you just treat it as no big deal and you just keep building up more comfort and test again to see if she's ready in a little bit. So you need to know exactly how to run your cold approach interactions when you talk to a girl at a bar or club or during the daytime and exactly how to run things on a date so that a kiss becomes very highly probabilistic and not a big deal and it's just a natural next evolution in the interaction. Okay, to learn exactly how to do that, you can book a free 30 minute call with the info card above or click the link in the description or the pinned comment and talk to a coach on my team about that area of the game as well as how to fix any other area that you're struggling. So the way that guys mostly do it is they're afraid to sexualize the conversation, they're afraid to be physical, and they keep the conversation very platonic. They're not touching the girl. They're not making sexual innuendos. They're not speaking to the girl non-platonically. And then they get the girl back home and they spring this kiss out of nowhere. And the girl is thinking, well, I thought this was just a platonic interaction. I thought we were just getting to know each other. This guy hadn't shown any interest in me romantically or sexually up until now. And all of a sudden this is coming out of nowhere. And that's where a lot of guys' problems in the game actually lie, is that they're skipping steps. It's the same thing in another section of the game. Let's say that you do successfully get the kiss and you're making out. And from the make out on the couch, you take the girl by the hand and you lead her to the bedroom. Right, A lot of girls are going to say, oh no, I don't want to do that. Even if they wanted to have sex with the guy, he skipped all the foreplay. Right, He went from the kiss, putting her to decision to have sex by bringing her right to the bedroom. Instead, he could have been do doing foreplay, getting her turned on, getting her warmed up, 
okay, building the mood, building the vibe. And this is the problem with most of the areas that guys have problems in the game. Okay, this is how most guys screw things up is a good pickup, okay, at an expert world-class level from the start to the finish, each potential next step test that you give her is very small. The next step is very small. So when you get to the kiss, you've already built everything up to that. And then it's just a really easy thing to comply with. When you get to the sex, you've already built everything up to that. And it's just an easy thing to comply with. Guys that are making mistakes in the game, they're typically skipping steps and then they spring a kiss out of nowhere and it's incongruent with the way that they're interacting with previously. The girl isn't thinking of the guy as a sexual or romantic interest because up until this point, he had been totally platonic. Or she's not thinking about having sex with him once they just start kissing. It's the same if you walked up to the girl and you're like, hey, we should go home together. You've skipped the whole interaction. You've skipped all the steps, right? That's an extreme example. But you need to make sure that each natural next step of the interaction flows and has a relativistic small jump of compliance. Mystery has a, a concept, the great pickup artist mystery, something called hoop theory. And the size of the hoop is how easy it will be for them to comply. If you were to walk up, the example he uses in his book, The Mystery Method, he says, if you were to walk up to a girl that's sitting at a bar stool and you said, hey, let me take your seat, she's going to say no. That's because you walked up, you asked to take her seat, it's a big jump in compliance. However, if you break that into small steps and you hold out your hand and she holds your hand and you have her stand up and then you do a twirl and you switch places with her and then you sit down in her seat, now you've accomplished the same thing. But since you broke it up into smaller steps, then it's much easier for her to comply with each of those steps on a relativistic smaller scale. And that's how game works. It's about breaking down the whole process from walking up to the girl all the way to taking her home into a whole bunch of small steps. And when she isn't ready to given step knowing what to do and how to deal with it to build more comfort and allow her to comply with moving the next step forward until you get to your goal okay which is actually getting the hookup or getting the date and giving yourself a chance to get the hookup so that's what my system teaches is it teaches you what all the next steps need to be so that you're not making these big moves. And guys think that just by practicing more without a good strategy that they're gonna eventually get better. But the problem is they don't know how to do these steps properly, so they're always gonna make kissing a big deal, or they're always gonna make going home with them from the club a big deal, or they're gonna make the hookup once they get back home a big deal. So you really need an optimized, fine-tuned system that's going to tell you all those next steps so that there's no curveballs, there's no guesswork, and you're never trying to figure out what to do next. Okay? And that's going to maximize your probabilities and chances of getting a successful result and getting her to comply at each and every level. Okay, That's how you get high-level results in this game. To plug in to all those optimizations okay, and have the work done for you, get on one of the free 30-minute calls with the link in the description or in the info card up above. And someone from my team will go over exactly how my system works and how you can start packing your schedule full of dates starting this week. So stop trying to figure this all out yourself, okay? I spent the past 20 years of my life with the majority of my free time and a really high level of intellectual analytical abilities to work through all the data that I acquired and figure out what the best moves and steps are at each level of the game so that you can maximize your chances of success. Okay, I came from a poker and chess background, which is all about making moves with the highest expected value, otherwise known as EV. When you do things in a game of incomplete information, when you make moves that are going to have the highest chances of probability, you stack the odds in your favor so that in the long run, you will win over and over and over again. Okay, so don't take the you know wrong route and try to figure this all out yourself and keep banging your head against the wall, skipping steps and getting rejected, getting blown out, getting insulted, okay, getting flaked on, getting ghosted. No one likes any of those things or even getting friend zoned. That's going to keep happening until you start doing things properly. And you can start doing things properly this week. So just get on one of those calls and plug into all the optimizations and right moves and save yourself 20 years of relentless optimizing. Okay, you don't have to go do all that work yourself. It's already been done for you. So check out my video on the end screen for more on this topic. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.